We are joined by AJ Awesome, the host of AJ Awesome Show. He does interviews like we do, but he is based in Missouri. I don't know if I'm saying this right. You can blame me. Missouri. 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 And focuses more on professional wrestling. He joins us from his home today. Actually, both of our uh, the names of the places we're based off of are pretty hard to say. Regina, people most commonly, uh, I just to say Regina. So, well, Regina's right. No, oh, it's Regina. Uh, MGF Scarf yeah. joined. What? MGF Scarf. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, you can ask AJ or us questions throughout the conversation. We will try to answer them. Remember, we will post an archive to our YouTube channel. Um, uh, thank you for joining us today, AJ. How was the school break, and how are you talking with your friends? Uh, during the school break, I just watched a lot of YouTube and played a lot of video games. Just like everyone. Uh, I'm in touch with my friends. One of my friends followed me on Instagram. I'm so Sometimes I talk with him in DMs, and sometimes I talk to him using Zoom. Yeah. Uh, we've been using Zoom a lot lately, too. Uh, t- did you watch Dynamite last night? Yes. We, uh, I only watched, like, the first part of it, but... Yeah, I watched Dynamite, too. Yeah. Most of the highlights. What do you? Who do you think is going to win the TNT Championship Tournament? I really want Cody to win. Yeah, I'm there too. Uh, Cody, pretty much won. Cody's a friend of mine, and I want him to win. Yeah, we've met Cody too, thanks to you. Yeah, we got Cody through you, and that was probably one of our first big, like, big interviews that nobody thought we would get. Who would be the upset pick for for the tournament? Uh, for the tournament, either Stanley Guevara. Yeah. Or, or. Or. Who do you guys think is the upset like, pick? Oh, Sammy. Uh, I don't know. Like, I haven't watched much, but I was like maybe. in the match when I saw it last. I watched the highlights this morning, and so I I was like, yeah. I hope Cody wins, because I, I met Cody before Sean, so, when we were watching, okay, um, what do you think about Dustin in the tournament? Wait, is he in? Yep. Uh, I feel like he has a really good chance of winning. Yeah. I feel like Dustin has a really good chance of winning the tournament. What do you think about Lance Archer in the fight? Period. Period. Yeah. Just From what we've seen of him wrestling, he's been he's dominated everyone so far. Yeah, yeah he's gone flawless. Uh, I watched his first match. He literally ended it in seconds. Yeah. How do you? What do you think about Brody Lee? Like Lance Archer, he has dominated in his first couple of matches. Yeah. But what do you think of the build to the Moxie, Moxley Hagger fight? Ooh. Like no holds barred matches and matches that are like hardcore. Like I really enjoyed watching the Moxley versus Omega. So I feel like I will really enjoy the Moxley yeah. versus Hager match. Yeah, and the build was pretty awesome. Uh, the document, like it was kind of like a short document. Cheery. Uh, pretty awesome build. So, if you have questions, yeah, put them in and tell them, tell them, tell them who you're asking them to. Just, uh, so, Sony asks, what do you think about watching wrestling, wrestling with no fans? I feel like it kind of cuts away most of the, most of the, I can't really explain it, but it cuts away most of the excitement. And energy. Atmosphere and excitement yeah. from it. Because yeah. uh, the fans are a big part of wrestling. Those big moments where it's like, uh, now they can't just like 
cover things up with uh with noise like say they had a plot hole and it's like plot hole and it's like they can't cover it up now because there's no fans so mjf scarf asks who's your fit your favorite wrestler in aew aj it has to be either cody dustin or Colt Cabana. Those are three of my good friends. Colt Cabana was the first big interview that I did. Yeah, my f- top three has to be Cody, Kenny, and Spears. Honestly, I'm just going to go he straight doesn't, away from everyone else. And he doesn't really know AEW as best as I do. Who's your fault? Uh... I was watching a couple of clips and I, uh, because I don't watch much AEW, I was kind of interested in Orange Cassidy, so. Oh, I have a question that just popped in my head. It w- we were supposed to ask this, but I forgot to put it on the list. Uh, oh, God, I forget it. You go. Head, head. Uh, it involves Orange Cassidy, though. I don't know. And it involves the best friends clip. I don't know. Oh, how many more bathrooms will we find Orange Cassidy in? Oh, yeah. Cassidy in? How many more bathrooms will we find Orange Cassidy in? So, Sony Strong asks, how did... Oh, well, actually, he asks, how did Massey Twins and AJ meet? Well, I forget. They sent us a message. Oh, yeah. With the Cody information. Yeah, you sent us a message with the Cody information, I'm pretty sure. And that's how we first met, kind of. Yeah. Like, you helped us out, and we, uh... Then, off of Cody, we built over and, like, got... We uh, did Mick Foley and, uh, more. So, will... Will we be tired of empty arena matches after this is over? Oh, oh, yes. I will be very tired yeah. of them. The radio um, matches will happen a lot. And like I said before, uh, it without fans, it breaks away a lot of the atmosphere and excitement. Yeah. Like, so. Fans, again, like, they help cover up plot holes. And it's like, then it's more better. It's better. Because then there's no, like, plot holes. Plot. Plot holes. I am so bad at saying that. Why do I always say pot? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey Payne asks, who's the who is the biggest Canadian wrestler in AEW? Uh, probably Kenny or Spears. Yeah, Kenny Omega or Sean Spears. Kenny Omega or Jericho. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or Jericho. I forgot that he was Canadian for a split second. <laughs> Yeah, we actually interviewed Jericho. Bob wasn't there. I was sick. He told me to. He said straight up to my face. Shh. You asked him for a. Oh yeah. Clip, clip, and that's what he gave you. Yeah, so I asked him for a clip. Then he's like, "Shut up, kid." (laughs) It's really funny. And actually, now Matt Hardy's drone cannot come after me because I can say I was not there. Vanguard, Vanguard. I do not watch this stuff. You are the wrestling guy. Sorry about that. Uh, it's the press scrum. Uh, I think Jericho was about to say a cuss word, and he just did this to me for a while while he said it. It just covered my ears. Yeah, that's probably going to happen a lot, actually, to us uh, during interviews. Uh, what is Tony Khan, the owner of AEW, like? Uh, Tony is, he is very nice. Uh, he gives people a lot of opportunities. Yeah. And he's, he's just a really nice person in general. Who in AEW have you never interviewed that you would like to? MJF Scarf asks that. Uh, either Moxley or Jericho. Oh, Moxley. Those are the two that I want. Moxley's actually coming. And Matt Hardy. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, Max Moxley was actually in Regina filming a movie, and I we didn't. It was called Cage Fighter, and I think it was also with Christian, too. Weren't you you weren't you supposed to see Dynamite live last night in San Luis? Yes. Oh, that's sad. But because of now it's in October. Yeah. Because it got canceled in. They put it up an entire six months to October. What do you think of the AEW Women's Division? I feel like the AEW Women's Division is one of the best women's divisions out there because they have all this good talent and they're pairing them up with really good matches. My favorites are Nyla Rose, Hikaru Shida, and Riho. Uh, have you considered wearing sports coats and ties while doing your interviews for all of us? Uh, no, actually, I've never considered that. Asked by Bark Andre Furry. Uh, I have worn a tie for some of my interviews. Yeah. Well... I don't go anything fancy. I just pick up a hat, put it on. I have worn. And occasionally throw away my hat. Yeah. I only really dress up whenever I'm in the press conferences. Like, we have been in, like, some sort of press conference. Uh, we, there's, like, this huddle around a curling player, and I was like... Okay, no. I gotta get in, in there. No, I dove in with a microphone. <laughs> yeah, that's what you did. He dove in with the microphone. He was like, give me everything. Yeah. I've never really understood curling. Yeah, no, it's, it's weird. Like for, to- for me, because this is an ice sport, I always get it. Yeah, he is an ice guy. I'm a court guy. And it's like, it's shuffleboard on ice, basically. Would you let Dr. Brett Baker be your dentist? No. <laughs> like, given how badly she got beat up today, I mean, last night, not no. Dr. Britt Baker, Dr. Britt Demon. I don't want her to break my teeth. <laughs> like she, like she <laughs> did. Oh, what did you think of Chris Jericho on commentary? Oh. Yeah. He was funny at some points, and he was also really mean at some points. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dishing out things. What was your dynamite highlight? My dynamite highlight had to have been when Cody won the match. I just want to say this because it's hilarious. This was the match between, but there's a certain point. So between best friends and Kenny Omega and I forget his name. Who? Nakamura. Oh, yeah. Nakazawa. Nakazawa. So when Nak pulled up. Oh, something of his shorts, then he slapped one of the best friends in the face. The what? Venom sock or something? Yeah, like, he, it was under his shorts, and it was really, it was really weird. disgusting. Yeah, and then he slapped his partner in the face with it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Yeah. How is that even allowed on TV? Literally, he pulled it out of his pants. <laughs> what is that doing there? We have the cold coronavirus coming out, and oh. then it's like, what if it had it? It would just be slapping it onto a new person. I have never realized that. Maybe he just washed it. What about Skeer- Spears kicking out of two crossroads? Yeah, I was very surprised at that. Everyone was surprised. I was surprised when, after he got put through a table... That he s- still won the match? That Cody won the match? That yeah. Was, that was very surprising. The Cody versus Sean Spears match record is now Cody 2, Sean Spears 0. Would Arn and Tully make a difference if they were there? Yes, they would. Arn would help out Cody, and Tully would help out Spears. And... Most likely, Arn and Tully would get into a fight because Tully is mean and he cheats a lot. Who has been your favorite person to interview? 
I don't have a favorite. MJF Scarf asked if AJ would like to work as a commentator in AEW. I've always wanted to be a part of wrestling, no matter if it was a wrestler or a commentator or a backstage interviewer. I really want to be a wrestler, though. But if I have the chance to become a commentator and interviewer, I would work as that. It'd be pretty cool to actually have a job in such a big business. Like, scoring so high that it's in one of the most successful businesses around sports. Uh, who is on your wish list to interview? Besides uh, Mox. Matt Hardy, Moxley, and Jericho had, is my three. Uh, and maybe John Cena. But is this this John is, Cena would be a really big interview. This is my three list. Jack Hager, and then, I'm trying to remember, John Moxley, and then... Matt Hardy. But there would be a lot of conflict between the first two. Because, remember, they're in a hold, no-holds-barred match later. Does, so. does Cena still exist after WrestleMania? Did he ever come out of the Firefly Funhouse? And did you watch WrestleMania? I didn't watch all of WrestleMania. I only watched the Boneyard match and the Firefly Funhouse match. I personally think if John Cena fights out enough, he can get out of the Firefly Funhouse. Yeah. During the entire Firefly Funhouse match, I was like, what is going on? Because it had John Cena coming out as an NWO member. What about NWO Cena? Ooh, NWO Cena would be a great member. If... If, if while the NWO was around, if he joined, he would be a great addition to the NWO. I feel like he would be great as an NWO member. Like, if he was in the Thugonomic stage and he was an NWO member, he would be possibly one of the greatest of all time in the NWO. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is is there a retired wrestler that you would love to interview? The Big Show. Oh, oh wait. So there's this show that just came out on Netflix. It's called The Big Show Show. There's eight episodes, but it is amazing. I was just gonna. I was just. Gonna have you seen it? it? Just look up. Look on Netflix. I, last night I watched the first episode with it's my really father, and I. I, my mom thought it looked like an 80s sitcom, (laughs) with all the laugh tracks and stuff. Uh, if you were, but it is funny, if you were wrestling in AEW, what would your name be? Would, what would your wrestling name be? I feel like I'm going to stick with this name for my whole life. It's, my wrestling name would be AJ Awesome. Do you have any questions for us? Like, no. One. Uh, thank you for joining us. And thank you for letting us into your home. And, uh, what? Sorry. Oh, did you comb your hair for this? I know I didn't. My mom kind of did before the interview. I don't, I never comb my hair. I will never, I bet you I will never I keep a comb on me every time. Don't ask why. It's important. Sometimes there's even weird things on it that come. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you for bringing us into your home. Actually, we're not actually in this home, but technically, uh, speaking, we are. Uh, and, well, that's it. See ya. Goodbye. Thank you for having me.